What's up, Leo? This is Soul. And Leo, we're going to look at some energies here for you starting um, December 26th and ending January 1st, New Year's Day. First and foremost, uh, Leo, I want to wish all the Leos a very happy uh, New Year 2023. I wish you all the uh, abundance, peace, love, and happiness. Definitely health going into the new year. This week, I'm using the Afro Tarot to deliver your messages, Leo. All cards are in the upright position. I'm reading no reversals. So let's get on the way here to see what's the potential energy coming up here for you. For Leo. Energies for Leo. All right, Leo, let's cut them three times and then begin your messages. Okay, so we're going to open up the energy for you this uh, week, starting with the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so this is the um, money card, one of the money cards. So uh, either you, someone gets, you know, uh, could be getting promoted to a higher paying position. This also could represent your boss in the workplace environment. If there's a need to, you know, apply for any uh, credit or anything this week, uh, this would be your creditors. Just all you have to do is ask, the, you know, um, and it would be in your favor, okay? <laughs> so the Queen of Pentacles, all queens and kings, represents all ages, sexes, um, and genders for me. Uh, so this could be somebody who comes along, uh, who, you know, I always say that they have pocket change, okay? They could have pocket change. There could be some Leos who are, you know, interested in running their own business, running their own business. This uh, queen would then show up to say that there's money and resources available if you need to tap into that to... Uh, possibly expand your business, grow your business or whatever. Um, so yeah, this is the Queen of Pentacles. And this card could be viewed as the energy of someone who is dependable, reliable, stable, very secure with themselves, like the finer things in life, but they're not overly materialistic, willing to share all of that energy with, um, you know, anyone. Okay, so that's the Queen of Pentacles. Following that, we have the Ten of Cups. Um, Ten of Cups is here. I think there's two Ten of Cups in this deck. Anyway, you got the Ten of Cups, and this is about celebrations, New Year's. Could be, you know, um, celebrating with family. Somebody could be getting married over the uh, New Year weekend uh, or this New Year week. Also, um, the even number of cups simply means that the energy that you give to others, Leo, you're going to get that energy back. So it's in the need to celebrate following the Queen of Pentacles. That could be the emotional state and feeling, feelings regarding any Leo who has gotten promoted, um, you know, to like supervisory or managerial. Uh, Leos, you know, who could be just happy because they're um, financially, you know, secure or independent. Um, Almost anything that you can attach to that. It's good emotional feelings and energies with the Ten of Cups. Following the Ten of Cups, now we have the Eight of Swords, okay? Eight of Swords is feeling like you're trapped, uh, but you're not trapped. Whatever it is that you're anxious about, worried about, nervous about, Leo, just make sure that it is real and not something that you are, um, you know, conjuring up in your own mind and trying to play it out like a movie and then putting an end result to that movie. Nine times out of ten, when we do that, it never, the things that we worry about, or nervous about or tensed about never seems to come or pan out the way that we had conjured it up in our mind. So try your best to decrease any of this Eight of Swords energy so you don't um, allow it to get out of control or hand. Oftentimes I feel that it's, um, for some of you, it could be uh, related to a break of communication. And, you know, the break in communication doesn't have to be involving individual, individuals who are, you know, at a long distance. Could be long distance or short distance. It follows the family relationship card, Ten of Cups. All right, so Eight of Swords is here. Following that, we got the Two of Swords being a little bit conflicted. Um, a choice to be made. There could be two people who are interested in you, Leo. You could be uh, interested in two people. This is still my same-sex loving energy. Feeling like you're at a crossroads. Having to decide 
on something, but you need to make a decision to narrow it down to one thing specific. Following the Two of Swords here, now we have the Eight of Wands. So this is the uh, aspect of uh, good news and uh, surprises. Mirrors the uh, Queen of Pentacles, so that could be the good news where someone uh, receives a promotion, a pay raise, uh, the start of a new business, anything that you can apply or attach uh, to this Eight of Wands because this is effective communication. What you express to others, Leo, is what you're going to get back in terms of, um, you know, mutuality. Okay, I always say there's a lot of texting. Anything that didn't arrive um, from online shopping for the Christmas holiday, then this is uh, the week that indicates that it's going to come this week. Also, the Eight of Wands is, uh, I've been picking up lately that it's movement. So it's traveling for me as well. So you could be traveling this week um, related to the holidays or not. It doesn't really matter. It could be work related since it does mirror the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So following the uh, Eight of Wands here for you, Leo, we have the Star card, Hopes, Wishes, and Dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. This is my social networking um, card, of course. So you could be online underneath the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be uh, you know, updating your resumes and applying for jobs, looking for work. This is a card that still builds up on hope. So, you know, always hold on to that hope. This is a card that also represents psychic abilities and also to the potential of you possibly meeting a famous person. Stay focused on one or two things this week, Leo, because I always tell you guys the stars in the heavens are scattered and you don't want to feel like that energy. So uh, it is a very positive card to receive and you have it. The star card, Major Arcana. Following that is the uh, King of Cups. King of Cups is showing up for, I think, all four of the readings that I've done today. Father of all love, he's nurturing, caring, supportive. Uh, pay attention to your intuition. It might be, um, you know, very important for some of you this week, especially because of the Two of Swords that may give you the feeling that you're at a crossroads or having to make a decision about something. And I also forgot to mention too, the simplest thing that could come out of the two of swords could be that you're out and about uh, traveling and whatnot. And then for some strange reason, you're rerouted to go a different uh, destination. So the King of Cups is here. Um, nurturing, of course, this could indicate new unions, romantic, platonic. We also uh, could throw in business partnerships could be formed as well. Could be just the state of being and feeling of um, your week ahead emotionally uh, and how you feel because it's underneath the Ten of Cups, okay? It's underneath the Ten of Cups. And again, since the Ten of Cups would represent some sort of uh, marriage, somebody could be getting married here. All right, so following the uh, King of Cups here is the Justice card. There's another <laughs> marriage card. So yeah, getting married in front of the Justice of the Peace, Justice being in your favor, things are balanced out. This represents liberty, freedom, and peace. Uh, I always get workman's compensation with this. So it could be that, you know, some of you are dealing with, um, you know, work workers' uh, comp issues. If not, it could be some sort of other legalities that you may be dealing with, but the Justice card is saying it's going to be in your favor. All right. Independence, freedom, and um, what else represents this Justice card? Independence, freedom. Okay, I can't think of it right now. But anyway, following the Major Arcana, the Justice card, we have the King of Swords. King of Swords here is taking action, making major moves. Usually uh, related to something... Um, you know, that you have given yourself enough time to gather the information, became clear about that, and now you're determined, sitting there waiting to use that sword to strike. Um, but I do feel that is a benefit uh, that, you know, sort of like takes away the two of swords, because here this is a confidence level of where you already, you know, figured out in your head what you're going to do, whereas prior to that you were a little bit confused, a little anxious and whatnot. Now you have things in perspective, and that's the king of swords. So you have the King of Swords, the uh, King of uh, Cups, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So you have some people here that you may be dealing with in all respect and aspects of your life. So the King of Swords here is, oh, and I forgot to mention too, the uh, King of Swords can, just like the Queen of Swords, can oftentimes, in terms of their execution, come across as being cold and very calculating. Last card for you, Leo, is... Um, the Knight of Pentacles, the job offer. This is the uh, other court card that comes in that could 
you know, represent business partnerships being uh, taken care of or formed. Definitely um, contracts. This is another one of my financially independence cards. So you could be either striving for that or um, you already are. It cross mirrors the queen. Court card underneath the eight of wands. That's the communication that you have with others that is effective. Nothing is taken out of context. Someone who is dependable, reliable, secure with themselves. That's the Knight of Pentacles. It could be the attri attributes of this card, and that's how others view you, Leo. Somebody that is um, very secure with themselves, um, you know, independent, willing to, you know, offer some sort of uh, assistance financially if necessary. <clears throat> Okay, so Leo, this is not too bad. I like this. And the shadow energy begins with the seven of wands. No regret. Stand your ground. Don't, you know, succumb to your own energies. I don't think that you will because you have the king of swords here. After having to be uh, feeling like you're in bondage here with the eight of swords. Now we have the um, king of wands. I'm sorry, the king of swords. But the seven of wands here is about um, sticking to the guts. Standing, you know, your ground. Do not come to change in your mind about whatever actions or decisions that you're going to, um, you know, take care of this week. And do not allow the others who are connected to you uh, to try to persuade you to change your mind. Because either way, if you do, you'll end up uh, having some sort of regret. Following that, you have the Major Arcana, the Sun. The Sun is the most positive card in the Tarot deck. So this week is sun, uh, Smiles and Shines on you, Leo. This is the Happiness card, the yes answer to all uh, questions that you may pose to yourself. Uh, feeling, you know, not only vibrant, but energized, but feeling childlike. Uh, speaking for some Leos who may <laughs> live in California and Florida, you may be traveling to those destinations. If not, doesn't worry about it. Um, it could be um, Leos who are into the healthcare industry in all, you know, aspects, aspects or facets. X-rays of all kinds could be taken. Routine medical checkups this week could be uh, performed. Um, cancer treatments. Someone could be, you know, receiving chemotherapy and radiation for cancer treatment. It may not be you, but it may be somebody that you know. So the sun is here blessing you. And then the final card here is the king of pentacles. Okay, so the queen of, uh, I'm sorry, the king of pentacles is just like the energy of the queen of pentacles. And um, she started us off, right? Remember? And so now it's the same energy here related to what I ever, whatever I said here in the beginning. Okay, just to save me some breath. But this is an additional court card that is here. Uh, so I feel that there could be some sort of exchanging going on with many people. It could be, uh, um, you know, dealing with your employers, your co-workers. But it's, it's, Leo, it's all favorable, okay? It's all favorable. Nothing for you to be upset or worried about. So that's um, the sun, Major Arcana, the King of Pentacles, and then the Seven of Wands. No regret. Stand your ground. That's what I have for you this week, Leo. Not too bad. Um, give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Uh, once again, Happy New Year's. Please be safe. Um, keep smiling for me and I will see you going into next year, 2023. Take care. Bye.